Hello, my name is Kelly. I am a starting strength coach in the San Francisco Bay Area in California. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to safely and efficiently walk your bar out of a squat rack and put it away. Many lifters, especially new lifters, tend to be a little nervous about getting injured during the squat. But something that is very overlooked as far as safety and efficiency goes is walking your bar in and out of the rack. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the manner and attitude in which you walk your bar out of the rack and put it away. This may not seem very important, but as your weights get heavy, this gets very important. You need to walk the bar out and put it away in a very systematic manner that you do every single time. Preferably with the same intensity that you would do for a heavy weight every single time. So even when it's really light, you're practicing getting super tight, being very efficient and very careful. And the reason for this is so when the weight gets really heavy, and it's hard to think because it's so heavy on your back, that you've done the correct thing so many times that you're automatically going to do it again. If you've kind of been half-assing it until you actually get to a heavier weight, chances are when it's really heavy and you're having a hard time focusing, you're not going to do the right thing. So the next thing we're going to talk about is how to set the proper height of your bar, which is actually dependent on the shape of the hook that you're working with. So some squat racks have J hooks that go up really high and some are pretty shallow. And as you can see in this picture, in my gym, they're relatively shallow, which is great. You need to set the height of your bar so you can easily stand up and walk out and clear the tops of the hooks. Some squat racks have relatively long distances between one hole and another. So if you're not sure if a bar is too high or too low, always err on the side of too low. That is always much safer. It requires a little bit more work when you pick it up and put it down, but it's still much safer. If you have to get on your tippy toes to clear the hooks, you risk having an accident and missing the hook, which could be really bad. This next video is an example of how to correctly unrack and re-rack a barbell. But before I show it to you, I want to break down the steps. So the first thing you're going to see her do is check to see that the bar is centered in the squat rack as best as possible. Sometimes when the weights are very, very heavy, this might be difficult, but most of the time you can move the barbell side to side to make sure it's in the center. This is going to reduce the chances of you smacking into the uprights of the squat rack while you bring it out. Next, you're going to notice she gets under the bar. She's going to stand up and check that she's balanced before she begins to walk back. Once she knows she's balanced, she's going to take one step back with each foot and set her feet. Then she's going to do her squats. After that, she's going to stand up, pause to make sure she's balanced before she walks back in. And then finally, she's going to walk all the way into the rack until the bar hits the uprights and then slides down. Notice she did not look left to right to try to set it in the hooks. She looks straight ahead and walks straight into the rack. Many lifters rush because they are either nervous or too excited. Take a deep breath and make sure you take your time. In this example, the barbell is off center in the squat rack. You'll see this leads to her smacking into the rack on both the way out and the way in. This robs you of a lot of strength and energy that you very well may need to do your squats. 
as well as it puts you at risk for an accident and getting hurt. Here she is looking left and right to try to place the bar in the hooks, but in reality this makes it more likely for her to miss the hooks. Here she doesn't stand all the way up before walking back into the rack, and as you can see this can cause a pretty bad accident. And that concludes our video. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Have fun lifting!